Well, we're in the big time now, aren't we, Al? Yeah. I now have a microphone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So for all of you who have trouble hearing me, that will never happen again because I am mic'd and Alan is mic'd, and so you'll be able to hear. Well, let me, let me check with Caroline. Caroline, can you hear okay? Okay. Anyway, um, it wasn't easy to find a mic. It says the first woman says no sound. No Francesca. sound. Francesca. The sound is great. What's that? Okay. All right. So there has to be sound. Yeah. Okay. The first woman said there's no sound. Anyway. Uh, maybe it was because you, you were like the first woman. Maybe now it'll work. Anyway, I'm in my kitchen and I wish I could show you outside my window a whole herd of bighorn sheep descended upon that rock out there and then up on the hills. Uh, I don't know, whenever I see um, nature that close up, it just, my heart soars. I just, I love it. And I find with these bighorn sheep, if I, when I see them, I put my head down like that to let them know I'm not aggressive, I'm not a predator, and then when I look up, they go, oh, okay, you're okay. So I've made friends with all my animals here. Anyway, today, wow. Well, let me just start. Mother's Day, Bruce and Caroline gave me, uh, well, let's just, Okay, maybe this doesn't excite you, but this butter, there's, this is, oh, Italian butter. I, I mean, I just, I just, it's just, <laughs> it's just so incredible, this butter. We're going to cook with this butter. We're going to make a, a brown butter and sage sauce with fresh uh, sage leaves that I picked from the um, uh, herb garden out there. And then... We're going to do tomatoes. I'll show you. Can you show them the tomatoes here, Al? These are from our garden. And I've got another whole plate over here. And I've got fresh burrata. And on the fresh burrata, I'm going to put the basil olive oil. You know our olive oils. And a little blip of the pomegranate um, uh, balsamic, which uh, is so great. I try to lug that stuff. He does. He actually, when I when I cook with the balsamics, actually any of them, I look over. I've posted a couple of them of Alan licking his plate. Yeah. He he literally <laughs> licks his plate. Yeah. As a cook, I can't tell you how satisfying it is. I sit there and I go, he likes my food. All the things we told our kids not to not do. to do, but now yeah. the kids are gone. That's See, right. this is the greatest thing about this stage of life. The kids are gone. You don't have to have the same manners anymore. You can That's lick right. your plates. That's right. And then the other thing, if you are not in the mood for pomegranate, remember I made the um, pesto the other day, so I put this out. And I'm making pasta today, but you could also, I'm doing the brown butter and sage, but you could also do pasta with uh, pesto, which is divine. Now look at the pasta. These are little baby annulati. Mm. Go to your n nearest Italian deli, or if you've got a Italy near you, I know there's one in Vegas. Italy is, um, it was Mario Batali's uh, creation, and he has such a great flair for food. So anyway, I'm kind of excited about what I'm going to make you today. So I'll do the tomatoes first, and then as, ask me questions as you go along. Uh, so we've got the balsamic vinegar and the, um, I'll show you what this is. You won't be sorry if you got this. You'll really love this. You actually have your fingers over the label. Oh, well, aren't I a yeah. saleswoman? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. It's oh, so I'm good. Gonna, oh, yeah, it's so good. Lick your plateable. Yeah, I chug a lot. Yeah, he does. And then the, these oils, by the way, the, the balsamics have been aged 12 years minimum, 12 years. The reason I never liked balsamic and I've never liked it is because you have it in a restaurant and it always tastes so acidy and that's because they made it yesterday, you know, it's not aged and not aged balsamic just tastes like vinegar, acid, not good. 
The other thing we have today, which we sometimes forget about, are, are um, you know... Essences. Yeah, they're essences. If you're, if you're, like I can't wear perfume because my husband is a delicate flower. Yeah. And he's allergic to perfume, even the perfume Tom Ford made for me. Um, and so we developed these really for you, Alan, yep. so that I could smell and, good. And you happen to be holding my favorite one. Vanilla. Vanilla. I love the vanilla. Vanilla cream. I, I roll it under my nose almost every day. I know. And then this is the uh, wild orange vanilla. So you smell great without... There are a lot of people now who are allergic and so this is a great way. This is um, Sweet Rose, okay? Mm. And then the last one is Lemon Blossom, which you'll love. You'll love Lemon Someone's Blossom. Someone's asking where they get the balsamic. SuzanneSummers.com. Yeah. Several different balsamics. Yeah. And several different olive oils. You can't go wrong. You will love it. Yep. The most exclusive club in the entire desert is it's what exclusively using our oh right i know our isn't that products. something yeah. i was so excited about that this is a major chef yeah flipped over it. he did okay what are you doing now now i'm just going to this is this is one of the greatest crowd pleasing starters fresh tomatoes and these tomatoes here, I'll give, you, I'll give you this end, Alan, so we you just, can ooh and ah. We just picked them. Mm. We just picked them. Mm. Mm. Wow. I know. I know. It's amazing. You take tomatoes out of the garden, the garden mm -hmm. and you put them in the refrigerator, which you should never do. Yep. And it totally wipes out the taste. Yeah, did you know that, ladies? It's amazing. Never, ever, 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 ever put tomatoes in the refrigerator if you want. Well, look at that. Yeah. Burrata? Mm hmm The real deal burrata? Yeah, this is no, no kidding around. Oh, my God, look at that. Yeah. I just washed my hands. Don't worry for all you clean freaks. God, I wash my hands so many times a day now, don't you? Yeah. I bet I wash my hands 50 times a day now with this whole panic thing. Okay. Oh, my gosh. You have a nice hand wash hand I do. I have a, a hand wash and a hand lotion. Okay, so. Okay. Say that again. That was sort of hard to hear. Okay, now here I'm... Here I'm what putting she, the. What she said was, it's 25% off the entire site. Suzanne okay, Summers, great. And the promo code is COOK25. Okay. So now over this deliciousness, mm. I'm putting the basil olive oil. How could this be anything but amazing? And then, oh gosh, then a little bit, just a little bit of the pomegranate. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And always a little I know what I'm having fresh, fresh grow. Oh, you're going to love your lunch so much today. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to get you a fork, Alan Hamill. Okay. Oh, wow. Why don't you uh, Why don't smear I? one of those, have it yourself. Okay. I'll have it a little later on. Okay. All right, with pleasure. Mm. Okay, ladies, don't hate me. <laughs> no words necessary. The combination of all these tastes, this beautiful tomato, this beautiful burrata, this incredible basil olive oil. Mm. 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 You got to have a bite, Al. Okay. Mm. Oh. Oh. Sounds like we're having sex here. Well, kind of. <laughs> yeah, really. 
Okay. I don't know that I can feed you. I think, want me to hold it? Yeah. On you. So you take the plate. Oh, I can't. <clears throat> then so I why feed. Don't you? No, I'll feed you. Come here. Great. Open your mouth. <laughs> it's, it's, it's beyond spectacular. Wow. Oh my God. Thank you for this incredible gift, Caroline. Wow. You're welcome. Mmm. Mmm. Now, wow. let me um, show you how to make the simplest sauce you will ever make in your whole life. You know, great food is about your ingredients. So I got this amazing butter. And this is essentially going to be a butter, a butter sauce over the little baby annulati with with fried sage leaves and uh, there we are okay look how much butter I'm using it doesn't matter butter is a healthy fat you know I write a lot about um, butter and and uh, misnomers and the reason everybody stopped eating um, butter and healthy fats is because in 1941 Dw Dwight Eisenhower um, had a heart attack. So everybody decided that the reason the president had a heart attack was because he ate bacon and eggs every morning. So that's when they decided that bacon, eggs, butter, um, all of the healthy fats were bad for you. Well, ever since we all gave up butter and fats and switched to margarine, we got fatter and sicker, and now they realize that Every cell in your body, remember your 70 trillion cells that I talk about all the time, requires protein, fat, and carbohydrate to reproduce itself. Oh, here's an interesting comment. Uh-huh. From Lori. Oh, my God. You annoy me. The moon's an up-close food eating. It's disgusting. Oh, sorry. No one needs to see this from 70 to 60-year-olds. Wow, a little hostile. <laughs> Maybe you better not watch the show. <laughs> We're in love. <laughs> oh, wow, look how beautiful this is. Oh. Why are people like that? I don't understand that. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. How can you not, how can you not love this? I know. So uh, This is the sauce. I swear to God, that's all you have to do, okay? Just get these sage leaves um, a little crisp here like this in the brown butter. And then I'm going to, I'm not going to throw all of these in because I don't think you and I will eat all of these and I don't want to waste any. So, sorry lady, I'm going to have to moan and groan over these too. <laughs> a handful for, handful for me and a handful for you. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because I'd love to have more of this later. Mm. Okay. All right. Now these. Uh, all, of our, all of our friends say that we overcomplicate Yeah. Yeah. Well, these uh, only take a couple of minutes, and while they're cooking, we'll talk. Um, I might have to moan and groan a little more over my tomatoes and my burrata. You want another bite, Al? Sure. Make sure you moan and groan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Lori's probably having a bad day. So. I know. Yeah. We all are, Lori. This and, is. And Lori, Lori just needs to know if you tell Alan not to do it. Yeah, exactly. Ten yeah, really. <laughs> Lori, Alan's the bad boy. Isn't that amazing? Incredible. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lori. I've got a moan and groan. <laughs> you moan and groan too. Mm. 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 Oh my God! I can't wait. They're not quite done. Mm. Yeah, what Caroline just said, the um, about the Italians feel the simplest, and the French too. Well, French get a little complicated, but Italian food is. Just simple preparation. And it all came from 
the gardens they had and all geared toward the season like I'm eating out of my garden right now tomatoes they're just so incredible hmm not quite still not quite so for, for those who joined us a little late uh, <coughs> explain what you're making I am making so we had we have these beautiful tomatoes that we picked from our garden last night I mean I've got a big platter of them two big platters two big platters and I sliced them and put this beautiful fresh burrata on top of the tomato I drizzled it I'll get that later I drizzled it with our basil olive oil which you have to try it's so good we also have Meyer lemon olive oil and Tuscan olive oil you just look look on the site and then I drizzled it with the um, pomegranate uh, balsamic which has been aged 12 years this is pretty spectacular I got to check my annulati I would so, hate if uh, I wrecked it so Mary Taylor said how do you keep your hair so pretty I can answer that <laughs> We sell a supplement called Hair Skin Nails. Yeah. And uh, I use it every single day. That's why my hair is out of control. Your hair is so beautiful. Thank you. Not quite. And uh, it's a great, it's a wonderful. It's a also, wonderful I supplement. use the activating serum, the True Brazilian Activating Serum, oh, right. which makes my hair all shiny yeah. and straight. Yeah. You yeah. wash your hair with our shampoo, you wash your hair with our conditioner, then you put the True Brazilian. Um, activating serum on it and then um, when it's wet then you blow dry haphazardly however you want it then you take your flattening iron and go blub 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 it happens so fast and it makes your hair shiny and silky and soft so thanks for the compliment <clears throat> yum hey Alan you want to show them a sign? yeah okay Here's the deal today, 25% off the entire site. The promo code is COOK25, and it's all at SuzanneSummers.com. Great deal. Yeah, so how are you all doing with the, um, um, you know, forced uh, lockdown, your house arrest? <laughs> these, are, these are very strange times. You're not kidding. We're going to find out just how strange they are over the next few months. Yeah, but um, I think, I don't know what we can do about it right now, except that it's brought us all into our homes in a way that we haven't been in a long time. I have been, because this is the way that we live our life. But the kitchen table, the family dinner, it's all becoming um, more important. The grocery sales are up. Have you noticed, in, when you, if you, I like to watch the business channel and when they when they said that grocery stores are just doing the best business they've ever done because people are shopping and buying fresh real food and what have I been saying all these years eat real food if you can pick it pluck it milk it or shoot it not quite it's still a little um, you can eat it and so um, we've just been eating great food uh, I try to eat uh, for health and my immune system every day I have an avocado every day and the avocados right now are perfect perfect <coughs> bless you darling thank you and Alan is the greatest fruit picker so we have um, mangoes and papayas and what are those oranges you've been getting sumo oh wow are those great oranges I think they're a cross between an orange and a tangerine they're giant. gosh actually I, can, I think um, it's the end of the sumo season wow we'll probably uh, segue into other brands of oranges other varieties well I've, ne I've never I've never tasted an orange as good as those my, I have to say they're just fantastic <coughs> excuse me not quite so these take about 10 minutes I guess mm. anyway um, we're Netflixed out we're now watching a show called Hollywood by my friend Ryan Murphy who wrote a blurb for the back of my new book, A New Way to Age, which was so nice of him. And uh, I had actually read the book uh, based on this series, so that's good. And we watched all of Pablo Escobar and all of El Chapo. And what else have we been watching? Uh, it's all blurry. World, World oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I never paid attention during history class in school at all. I daydreamed. If it had been like this, we would have. Of course. I learned, I actually, I, you, you could question me about World War II. I learned things that I didn't know. I didn't know that um, they gave the Nazis amphetamines so that they could stay um, uh, amped up and pumped up and stay up, you know, 10, 12 hours and just be all aggressive. Kind of. Yeah, but then they made the biggest mistake they, that Hitler ever made. What? Was invading Russia. Tell me why. Because winter set in, uh -huh. and the Allies cut off the supply chain, so they couldn't get uh, ammo, and they couldn't get food, and they no, couldn't get right. blankets. Right. And a lot of them literally perished. Yeah. Oh, terrible war. What you what you get when you watch World War II, the series, is war is hell. And all our fathers were in that war, or most of our fathers. No, my father was in World War I. Well, your father is the oldest person 1914 ever. 1914 to 1918. When I, I met your father, he was old. Yeah. Well, how old was he? Was he 80 when I met him? Uh, let's see. Uh, he was born in 1892. Isn't that when Christopher Columbus crossed Close. the... <laughs> Actually, my grandmother, his, his mother was born in the mid-1800s. Think about that. And she was over six feet tall. And her husband, really? Yeah. Because people were little then. Exactly. So everybody. Well, on well, actually, your family, uncle Benny was very big. They're yeah, big. yeah. You're not. I mean, you're you're just like perfect. I'm not, but I'm perfect. Well, you're not. You're a perfect size. Yeah. Well, I'm five one. You are not. <laughs> what are you? Six one? Six two? No, no. Six one. Six. Hmm. I think I used to be six one. Did you shrink? What happens, yeah, you, you, after a while you shrink. You notice it because your pants get too long. <laughs> I've seen that on old men yeah, with right. the long pants. The other thing that happens, <laughs> your arms get too long. I don't know why. Do you know what happens to we women um, who aren't well, on... Maybe the arms get too long because the legs shrink. Oh. Maybe that's it. Oh. Your, bones, oh. your leg bones shrink. And, I mean, you know, you're not going to drag your knuckle, knuckles on the ground, but close. Really old guys, look at them, their arms are way too long. Huh, and I have very long arms. What happens to us women if we're not on hormone replacement? Um, have you ever seen skinny old ladies that have like big protruding bellies? Yeah. Well, the reason that happens, is not, it's not that they're fat. It's that, you know, when you reach for something and you go, ah, like that, and this is if you're not on hormones and your bones are, are not strong. Um, let me just check this here. Um, so they start getting hairline fractures in their spine, just a little hairline. And eventually the spine starts collapsing, pushing the stomach out. And it's all from, um, could be rectified by hormone replacement. Read one of my hormone books. If you're, if you're not on hormone replacement, I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm telling you the fact that I've been on hormone replacement now for over 20 years, and so is Alan. Is a game changer. And when I write about it in my new book, A New Way to Age, um, that's the main thing to do going forward is replace through lab work exactly what you, your deficiencies are, and then you get the right cocktail just for you. It takes a while to find the sweet spot when you've got a qualified doctor. And look in the back of my book and um, all the testings in the back of my book that you can find out about where your estrogen levels are, your testosterone, your cortisol, your thyroid, your adrenals, all that. So important to know because you can replace with um, natural thyroid and um, uh, cortisol for your adrenals and estrogen, progesterone for your hormones, for your hair, for your mood, for your brain. You know, you can't think without estrogen. Um, estrogen is so important to the brain. One doctor, uh, Prudence Hall, she said to me, when her ladies get headaches, she tells them to put a little teeny bit of estrogen cream on their temples. Oh, what a great idea. Yeah, and it takes the headache away. So she says. Almost there. Almost, almost. Wow, that's taking a long time to cook. Yeah, but we have lots to talk about. I, um, I always say aging is about worn out parts just like any any great piece of machinery
So yep. uh, Deborah, mm -hmm. oh, where's Deborah here? Deborah uh -huh. says, uh, Deborah Cassessa Heckel, you're sold out of all your oils and vinegars. Is that true, Caroline? Caroline? I check. What? I check. I didn't hear. Well, uh, Jason, why don't you check on that? Let us know. I can't imagine that. If can we have bone renew. For your old lady with the hairline fractures, we have bone renew. And if you have hairline fractures, um, <laughs> you're right. Bone renew. And if you take bone renew, I highly recommend that you take vitamin K. Want to know why? This got one more minute. When you take bone renew, which is calcium. Calcium likes to go into your soft tissues, you know, calcium deposits, things like that. And when you take it with vitamin K, it's like a traffic cop. The vitamin K goes, no, 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 come over here. I want you to go into the bones. The vitamin K is good. They say it's good for the heart because it keeps the, the calcium in the bones rather than in your arteries. Doesn't that make sense? Okay. Um, Someone else just said you've been sold out for a long time. Of the oils and vinegars. Well, she didn't specify. Wow. Uh, we, we were sold out of like two flavors, not all of them. Oh, maybe, maybe it's the ones you wanted. I think this is yeah, now I done. Yeah. Oh, just the one. Order. Be here soon. Can they place an order and get it? Okay, so don't worry, you can get it. And then you can moan and groan. And drive. We are out of the white peach and the black cherry only. Okay. 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 They're so the good. Peach and black cherry, everything else were in stock. Okay. All right. So good. It's just all so good. Um, all right. Let's look at this. You know, you're not going to eat lunch. You're eating your lunch right now. They're ready. Yay. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this on. Wait till you taste this, Al. Wait till you taste this. Mmm. Mmm. I love this song, Misty. Oh, I don't want to waste a single little one. Is that from um, that movie, Play Misty for me? I don't know, but Clint Eastwood. Oh, yeah. I love Clint Eastwood's yeah. taste in um, music. Can you hand me a wooden spoon, Alan? Sure. You know, what most people don't know about uh, Eastwood is he's an incredible. Yes, yes. He's a cool guy. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Oh. Uh, brown butter, sage leaves, black truffle, annulati. Oh. We're going to have to moan and groan. Oh. And then I need a, a spoon, um, like one of those silver spoons over there to serve. A silver spoon. Yeah. Something you were not born with. Don't forget your in in with this or on top of it? Yeah, of course. All right. <laughs> oh my god, it's going to be so so good. I'd rather have a, a flat spoon, not a, a not a ladle. A flat spoon. See right there? Oh, that yeah. Yes, thank you. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> mm. You have 20 other people waiting for you to sit us on plate. Oh, gosh. Okay, and this is um, fresh. You have 20 other people watching you. <laughs> 
Oh, and this is fresh pecorino. This is my Mother's Day present from Caroline and Bruce. Holy crap. Mmm, Al, I'm going to let you have the first bite. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. No, that's for me. Oh. Remember me? Oh, yeah. Okay. You ready to take a bite? Okay, feed me. All right. Oh. I don't want it to be too hot. You don't like it hot. Well, are you talking about the amulati? I'll take a first bite. So sorry, so sorry I'm moaning. Oh my god. Okay, Al. You know what's great? It's great to have pasta for lunch because then you've got all afternoon to kind of, you know. Run it off? That's right, exactly. <laughs> Set it off. Sleep it off. You ready for a bite? Yeah, okay. 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 Mm. 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 That's oh. a holy crap. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm sorry to not share this with all of you. Oh, but make your own version. Oh. Wow. Mmm. 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 Oh, wow. Wow. Thank mm. you. This won't go to waste. We will finish this, but I just want you to know how simple it is to make amazing food. You know when you go to a great Italian restaurant, and you have this great food. It's because they just have amazing ingredients. This was a great gift. You could give me this gift every Mother's Day for the rest of my life, Caroline. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Well, it takes knowing someone who knows how to shop too. You know, a lot of people could go into that deli and not know what to buy. This is all so great. Um, wow. And then remember, the moaning tomatoes. <laughs> I have to moan one more time. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mm. 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 I've never tasted tomatoes and um, buffalo mozzarella as good as that. It's the, and I think it's the, um, well, the cheese is superb. Here we go. <laughs> mm. We're never going to get to the table. <laughs> ah, let's not. Let's just stand up and eat. Mm. So great. Wow. So um, I was talking about healthy fats and why you don't need to be afraid of healthy fats. Healthy fats, as long as it's organic. Butter, cream, sour cream, olive oil, full fat cream cheese. Um, um, you know, then there's coconut oil and flax oil and things like that. Every cell in the body, like I was saying earlier when I was cooking, we have 70 trillion cells, that's what the human body is, is made of protein, fat, and carbohydrates. So those are your building blocks. So think of all the years that we gave up fat and we went to fake fat. All, all our cells were missing one of its key components for, for um, cell reproduction. The human body can't operate unless it keeps reproducing itself. Also, as we get older, our cells get very weak. And uh, one of the things that um, we have in our supplement is something called senolytic activator. It's a fancy name for, you loving that? Mm. Mm. Imagine a supplement that could help clean the crap out of your cells that accumulates over the years. Just like we live in an old house. This is a hundred year old house here. We have oleander. I don't know if those of you uh, know what oleander is, but oleander is not happy in the ground. It wants to break through pipes and grow into pipes because then it's got it's a like water, source. water source. Water source, yeah. And so whenever the pipes break, we know, uh, check the oleander. It's probably growing in there. So the uh, same thing happens with our cells. It gets filled with, you know, whatever garbage or debris, and you want to clean that out. But up until now, there's been no way to do that. So what's happened is those cells just kind of collapse and die. Um, health is having more functioning cells than malfunctioning cells. But now we have the opportunity to reverse that paradigm 
what if we could, it's, that's, that's a life extender, if you think about it. If you could keep your cells in um, the best operating condition. So check the back, of, the back chapter of my book, A New Way to Age, tells you all about senolytics. It also tells you about NAD. NAD might be seeing some um, ads uh, on televisions, nitricodinamide adenine dinucleotide but they just call it NAD for obvious reasons. It's a little hard to, you know, follow. By the way, yeah. news alert, Judy Hitchcock, can you set me up with Clint Eastwood since he's divorced? <laughs> Judy, I think you would, is it Judy? Yeah. He lives in Carmel. If you live in Carmel, um, you know, put on a sexy dress and walk up and down Carmel Avenue. He was the mayor of Carmel. Did you know that? You know, he became the mayor. There was, he had a problem getting an ice cream cone or something. Yeah. I don't remember the whole yeah, story. Yeah, some, with some... So he ran for mayor, became mayor, and I guess... Who wouldn't vote for Clint Eastwood yeah. for mayor? Yeah. That means every city uh, function you went to, Clint Eastwood would be there. He's a real nice guy. Yeah. I, way, 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 way back, maybe I was 20 or 21 years old, I was, um, uh, Bruce was like, I don't know, three or four, uh, so I was probably 20, 22 or so. I had a small, dumb part in a Clint Eastwood movie called Magnum Force. Don't look at it. I get shot in the breast and killed in the pool. I am, there I am, the party girl in the pool, and somebody has a shotgun and shoots me right here, and fake blood went all over the place. And um, I remember that day, <laughs> so I was the center of attention that day, but I was just an extra. But all the looky-loos around in the neighborhood were all looking at who I was and who is she. And so at the end of the day, when it was time for me to pack up and go, everyone's kind of following me, and I'm thinking, don't follow me. Um, I'm not anybody. And I had to get in my car, which was this old, broken-down Volkswagen. Remember my Volkswagen, yeah, Ellen? I and I always had to park it on a hill so I could start it on compression. <laughs> and so they're all watching me, thinking I'm some kind of movie star, and I get in my car, and i got to start it like that. It was a lesson in humility. But anyway, I saw, many years later, we went to an Oscar party at Danny Jansen's house. And it was a small party. And Clint Eastwood was one of the guests. And I had such a... Nice time talking to him that night on a one-on-one, -on -one, really nice. And then Shirley MacLaine was sitting next to me. And I've always loved Shirley MacLaine. I've read all her books. And so I, and, and she, this was a heady party we went to. So it's me, Alan sitting here, and you're sitting next to, I think, the hostess. So I've got Shirley MacLaine on this side of me. And next to Shirley is Al Pacino. Shirley's talking to Al Pacino. So I got nobody to talk to because Alan's talking to the hostess as a good guest. So I said to Shirley, so Shirley, what are you writing these days? And she turns around, she says, I'm writing about boring people. And I said, wow, that's going to be a bestseller. <laughs> <laughs> and then I forgave her. I thought, oh, you probably just need hormones and you're a little cranky. <laughs> anyway. Um, those hello are, from Spain. Yeah, well, hello. Yeah. Wow. You've spent a lot of time in Spain, Alan. I did. Uh, Tormolinos and Malaga. And that's where you got that ma incredible matador suit? Yeah, on the south coast. No, yeah. I got that in uh, Madrid. Oh, okay. I went to Madrid. I was living in a uh, rather large house at the time in Toronto. And it had 17 rooms and uh, very little furniture. Mm. Uh, the house that uh, we had moved out of, uh, was a sort of modern, single-story uh, ranch kind of house, and we had the Danish modern uh, furniture. And it didn't go in your new house. Didn't go in the new house. So I measured all the rooms when I was in Madrid. I bought 17 rooms full of antique furniture. You have such good taste. It's all some of it we have here. It's beautiful. And six months later, they shipped it. Remember the essence oils. These great. By the way, vanilla cream, lemon. Rose, 25 percent off. Sale. Rose and Today, wild orange vanilla. Promo code Cook25, all on Suzanne. Smell this. It's mm. so. Mm. It's so. Um, well, I, there are so many people who are allergic to um, uh, perfume and the uh, perfume. 
um, it has chemicals in it as a general rule. So that's why we did this. It's all clean and it's a great gift to give somebody going over to someone's house or you got a girlfriend and going out for lunch you want to give her a little something a little essence oil it's really i like to put it on i have it next to my bed i like to put it on when i get into bed so i smell good for al so mindy sue bush what's your best recommendation for anti-aging okay she's 62. oh mindy suzanne's current book called a new way to age yeah absolutely well, you know what I like about that book, aside from all the interviews with these great doctors? The back of the book, this is always a mystery. Yeah. Okay? The back of the book contains all the testing you could do and all the places that you go to or interact with to get the testing done. And uh, so there's no mystery anymore. Right. Okay, because when you go to a regular doctor and you say, you know, I want a head to toe, I want to know what's going on in yep. my body. They stare at you. Right. Okay. But uh, integrative doctors get it. And that's all in the back of Well, the I wanted, I didn't, it's, it's frustrating to read a book about, you know, and then you get your lab work done and you're the, you're the reader going, where? So in the back of the book, all the different tests, including a test that I was trying to think of the word the other day, trichothecenes, Alan. Yeah. Trichothecenes will determine your toxic burden. Um, they spray down here on the golf courses, um, uh, um, glyphosate. Yeah, not, not all of them. Not all of them. They're switching over. Yeah. Okay. But it gets in the atmosphere. And yeah. so I want to keep, because he's so allergic to yeah. all chemicals, I want to get his trichothecene levels tested. And also you can get your hormone levels tested, your nutrient levels tested, your, your mineral levels tested. Do you realize as you get older, we stop absorbing minerals. You can be eating great food, but you stop absorbing. So there's a whole chapter in there on humic and fulvic. I know you've never heard of it, but that's what I put in my vegetable garden. Also, I take a swig every day. So does Alan. Yeah. And, uh, and it's all in that book. And then I buy the gardening version and I put it in all my planter beds. And this year, my garden is like robust and strong. And it's not my imagination. Everything that we've grown actually tastes better this year than it ever has. Don't you think, Al? Well, this is the first year we've had such an abundant So abundant. Crop. Like last night, you know, I made um, Swiss chard. He doesn't like Swiss chard. But if you just cut it from your garden, and I sliced it up, and I sautéed it with garlic and olive oil and sea salt, it was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. Just, uh, just amazing. I wonder why they call it Swiss. Do you think the Swiss invented it? Maybe. Maybe. Why don't you ask a Swiss? Is there a Swiss person who's, who's watching? Okay. Do we have any Swiss people today? Any people from Switzerland watching? <laughs> or used to be? Yeah. Yeah. Switzerland? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to take one more bite of this? You're not going to waste that, are you? Are you kidding? Yeah. Hmm. There you go, honey. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah? I'll okay. I'll have some of yours. Mm. Mm. Well. 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 It's just amazing. Wow. Sorry, I'm moaning. <laughs> and mm. groaning. Mmm. Mmm. Last night was one of those nights that Alan and I slept so great. I don't know why, but I think we slept 10 hours. We hit each other over the head just before. <laughs> <laughs> it always works, doesn't it? Amazing. Anyway, so that's kind of our show today. I decided not to use my pesto because how could you improve on this? And um, so what I really want you to know about are the oils and the vinegars. Uh, absolutely spectacular. Everyone who's tried them is over the moon for them. Everyone. And then the essence oils, which is your, your perfume without chemicals that uh, just smells divine. There's nothing better than a fresh scent from nature. No one's ever offended by any, any of these scents here. So, did you enjoy your lunch? Did I? And I'm going to enjoy it even more. Yes. Once I can sit down at the table. Yes. And really go for it. And, and I'm going to lick the plate. Yes, and I hope all of you out there enjoyed it. And remember, tomorrow night, America's biggest virtual oh, cocktail yeah. party at Big Al's Bar at 5 o'clock tomorrow night. Bring your own tequila. Bring your own salty things. Dress however you want. Dress up if you want. Have fun. You know, we're locked in our house. Let's... Let's make it fancy Friday, okay? Love you. Bye.